Dragonfly is an arm balance with a deep twist, so it helps to strengthen the upper arms, the upper back, and the shoulders, as well as rinsing out the internal organs. Let's just start out first by warming up the wrists. So you want to make sure that the wrists feel loose enough because you're going to bear a lot of pressure on the hands. So just a little bit back and forth with the wrists just to warm them up. You can do both hands. And then you can also place your hands down in front of you, fingertips facing in front of you, palms facing the ground. And just very gently rocking them a little bit side to side. You want to make sure that you're not hyperextending your elbows, so you're not pushing them out like that. What you want to do is keep a little soft bend in the elbows and draw the heels of your hands towards the ground. They don't necessarily have to touch. It's almost like you're walking or swaying side to side. And then do the other way and just put a little pressure on your hands so that your hands start to get used to that pressure. And then the backs of the hands. Fingers pointing towards you to stretch out the wrist. This is good to do in general if you text a lot, if you're on the computer a lot. Sometimes the wrists get a little bit tense or the joints get over fatigued. So this is just a nice pose to do for the hands and the wrists. And from here, let's do a couple of twists. So the spine has a chance to get used to the twist when you're in your arm balance. So just turn side to side a little bit. You can hold to your opposite knee and give yourself a little twist. One side and then the other. Okay, so again, make sure the body's warm enough. This might not be enough of a warm up, so do however many more twists or poses or maybe a sun salutation to get ready for this arm balance. I like to start from standing. So you'll come and stand in Tadasana. What you'll do is you're gonna take your right foot over your left thigh. So really you actually wanna have your ankle over the thigh. So you bend your left knee so you can place your right ankle over your left thigh. You see how I have my right foot flexed. So you wanna flex this foot strongly. From here, you're gonna keep bending the knee and take your hands onto the ground. Again, just stay here for a couple moments so you can feel the stretch in the outer hip. Then from here, you're gonna to have to turn a little bit and turn the body over towards the left side. What you wanna do is you wanna to try to stick your foot to your upper arm as high up on the arm as possible. So you can even stay in this version and just play around with pushing the foot into the upper arm and the upper arm resisting back into the foot. And you'll feel an extra stretch in the hip when you do that. So then if you're ready for coming into the pose, what you'll do is you'll place both hands, palms facing down onto the ground. Make sure that the wrist creases are facing forward, that your hands are not turned out in this pose. So your second and third fingers want to be pointing relatively forward. Then from here, you're gonna to start to bring your chest forward as if you're doing chaturanga or yogic push-up with the arms. And then you start to find your balance so that you can fly. Maybe you start to lift the foot up slightly. Maybe you're gonna to start to extend the leg towards straight. So the left foot comes to straight, flex both feet. You're stepping on your upper arm. Look towards your foot. Come out of the pose as slowly as you came in to protect the integrity of the body. So go ahead and play with the pose. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can post them below.